A little while ago I made a video telling you about 30 small details in Animal Crossing New Horizons that you may not have noticed. Well it shouldn't come as a surprise that there are quite a lot more of these small moments to be found in the game. So here are 20 more small details you might have missed in New Horizons. To start with, this isn't so much a small detail as it is a feature that you may not have used if you didn't read or notice when you first speak to Celeste. If you give Celeste a Zodiac Star Fragment, she will give you a bit of information about it in the exact same way Blathers will tell you about an insect or a fish. This is a very easy to miss feature, but it's really interesting once you start using it. Now that the game has fireworks, you can play with sparklers, but it's not just you. Your villagers will play with sparklers too, but not just at the festival. They can play with them at any time around the island, including in the day if they just so happen to have one. I'm only slightly concerned I have allowed my villagers to become arsonists. Sticking with villagers, another detail about them you may not have noticed is that during the fishing tourney and the bug off, they wear a specific outfit. These outfits are only worn during these events, and for some villagers is one of the rare times you'll see them in a hat, as every single villager will wear a hat in these events. Just like your character, villagers leave footprints in the sand, and depending on what type of creature they are will decide what footprints they leave. Birds and cats will leave different footprints, and even octopi will have little sucker prints. This even includes wandering NPCs like Sahara who has camel hoof prints and Celeste who will leave little owl prints. Nice touch Nintendo. This detail is specifically for Flora. If you happen to have her as a villager when you enter her house you may have noticed that she is surrounded by decorative flamingos. This is because flamingos like to live in groups with not only their mating partner but with their friends. Essentially they just like hanging with their buddies so Flora is just a bit lonely and trying to feel more at home. This is a little odd as Flora is technically an ostrich villager but her design is definitely based off of a flamingo. Another detail for a specific villager is that when Sprocket walks he makes metal noises as he moves because he's a robot. I wonder if this is the same for the other robot villagers, but I don't have River or Dell, so if you do and they make the same sounds, let me know in the comments below. During the fireworks festival, Isabel won't be inside the resident services building, but if you do choose to sit in the seat in front of her desk, nothing will happen. Tom Nook will completely ignore you and won't even let you know Isabel isn't around. This is just something funny I noticed when playing and is kind of reminiscent of real life. Not your section, not your problem. Also throughout the fireworks festival, you will likely find that at least one of your villagers isn't outside enjoying the festivities, but that doesn't mean they can't see any of it. If you enter a villager's home or a building during the festival, the firework lights will flash through the windows and light up the room you're standing in. Rolt's house lit up green whilst I was having a conversation with Velma. Another cool detail is that the moon in-game does actually traverse across the sky and the moonlight will reflect that. It also should be in the same phase in-game as it is in real life. I say it should be because I've read quite a few reports that it's actually two days behind, but I don't follow lunar cycles enough to confirm this. But even even if it is two days behind, it's still a nice detail that they tried to make it accurate. Let me know if this has been fixed. When placing things around the island, like a ramp or a bridge, you can then hold a ceremony, but Tom Nook does take notice of where you've placed these things and will sometimes make a remark on it. For example, putting a ramp in a tight spot, he will comment on how it's a bit cramped rather than just praising everybody for donating, even though it was definitely only you and those scroungers didn't donate a single bell. You've probably noticed that the decorations change each season in the shop, but what you may not have spotted is that in the Abel sisters dressing room the same thing happens. Okay technically it's not a decoration but the imagery when you're shopping changes based on the season. It's not as cute as the exterior changes to Nook's cranny but I still like it. If you pay attention when watching TV you may notice some iconic scene references to real life movies like Lord of the Rings and Godzilla. Majority of the programs on the television seem to have primarily humans on the screen. When animals do appear they are like real life animals such as the cats walk on all fours. It's an interesting little detail as there is evidence you aren't the only human out there, but also maybe there are real life pets too. It would make more sense for the doghouse and cat tree items if there are. A cute little detail you may not have necessarily picked up on is that when you push furniture items that have wheels, the wheels actually move too. It may seem silly, but it's details like this that make me love this game because it means Nintendo paid attention. Another small detail I like is that you can see the reflection of you closing the curtains within the opposite window in your house. You can't see yourself though, so are we vampires? You've probably heard this specific sound so many times times at this point, including in my live streams if you watch those. But when hitting a money rock and a bell bag comes out, a familiar tune will play. This chime is in every Animal Crossing game, but it's actually the one-up sound effect from Super Mario Bros. Whilst you still have your shovel out, let's talk about digging. Digging dirt from different types of ground produces a different sound effect. 
but not only does it produce a different sound effect, it also looks different. Dirt from darker paths is darker, and the same for lighter ground types. A very cute detail is the toy dog your mum sends you can be customised. You probably knew that, but did you know that each customization has a different name? The dog you receive has a little name, and if you change how it looks, it has a different name. Look at these little cuties. I have a soft spot for Gertie. This next detail is something you'd have to zoom in to see, and it was only from a Reddit post that I'd even thought to look, because I don't think I'd have ever seen this otherwise. Bees actually carry pollen around the island. They're already very small, and the pollen balls are even smaller, but they are there. This is such a cool detail, and I wish I could see it more clearly in game. On the topic of bugs, if you happen to be in the museum at night and have donated some beetles, you may stumble upon the Beetle Fight Club. The Fight Club has two beetles having it out and then a surrounding audience of a variety of different bugs. This is probably one of the coolest things the developers put in the game for us to find. Finally, the last detail is one from our good pilot Wilbur. You've probably noticed that Wilbur speaks in the phonetic alphabet, but there's a specific letter he has changed. In the phonetic alphabet, W is whiskey, but our Wilbur says whisker. Whether it's due to the age rating or just because they're animals, I don't know and I don't mind because it's just a cute little change that suits the world of New Horizons. There you have it, 20 more small details you may not have noticed in New Horizons. There are probably still so many more out there. It's a game that prides itself on the little things and I expect when new updates come out there will be even more. I hope you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated if you did. Leave a comment on any more details you have spotted that I may not have mentioned in these videos down below. Subscribe to see more from me, follow my Twitter and Instagram to see what else I get up to, join the Discord for a wholesome time, and I'll see you next time. Bye!